Gavin, getting the start tonight at second base against Lamette. Um, in your experience, just kind of learning the book on him, what's the best way to, to have success against him? Uh, yeah, he's got really good stuff. Um, he throws hard, has a really good slider. Um, I can't give away any secrets um, to my approach, obviously, <laughs> but uh, he's got really good stuff, so we're going to have to grind it out and have good at-bats and um, just try to put some stuff together. Uh, but, yeah, he's got good stuff. The Padres have won each of his last four starts. I mean, this is a good pitching matchup tonight against uh, two really good teams. How are you kind of interpreting this three-game series with two teams at the top of this division? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, these are two really good teams, like you said, so it probably is going to have some sort of a playoff feel to it. Um, you know, both teams are, were, what, two and a half games up. Um, uh -huh. uh, so, like, it's, it's going to be a really good series. should be fun, and... Um, I think the intensity will definitely be up. Is it starting to feel like it's the postseason? I mean, you guys have 13 total games remaining in this regular season, including tonight. Yeah, obviously it's a shorter year, so it feels a little different. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's 13 games away. We're getting to the end here. And um, I think, you know, the two games against the Astros played really well. Um, so it's exciting. How important was that for you guys to be able to get that win yesterday, considering the way things went down on, on Saturday and, and kind of leave with a better taste in your mouth? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, just watching from the bench, you know, everyone was firing on all cylinders, uh, defense, pitching, timely hits, uh, pretty much everything. So it was a super clean game and uh, it was fun to watch. Thank you, Gavin. Yep. Next question is from Pedro Mora. Go ahead. Gavin, where do you stand with your uh, with your throws? How do you feel about them from second? Completely fine. Uh, honestly, I have no issues at all. You feel like you've beaten what you faced last year? There, there's been some throws uh, this season, I guess, that had me wondering. But you, you, you think nothing's wrong whatsoever? No, not at all. Uh, it's baseball. You know, you're not going to make a perfect throw every time. So just to... Trying to jump to a conclusion, uh, I don't think that's the case at all, to be honest. Got it. Thanks. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead, Rowan. Hey, Adam, just with, you know, 13 games left now, where do you kind of feel like you're, you're at, um, you know, at the plate right now, and, and what do you feel like you still need to, to kind of do? What was that last part? Sorry. You kind of where do you feel like you're at right now? You know, it was such a weird start for you, and then – you know, to, to kind of get on late. And I'm just curious kind of where you feel like you're at or if there's anything you still feel like you, you need to do at the, at the plate with these last, you know, couple of weeks of the season. Sure. Yeah, I just continue to have better at-bats. Um, obviously, against Houston, I don't think my at-bats are great by any means. Um, so just continuing to put together good quality at-bats and just trying to, to barrel the ball. And, um, you know, I think I'm – I don't even know if I'm 40 at-bats in. So – Still just uh, getting comfortable and working hard and, you know, just uh, trying to control that back quality and then whatever happens after that uh, is out of my control. So that's just kind of how I'm looking at it. Hey, Gavin, you were around this team last year, and I'm just curious in your time with, with Mookie, what he's just done for this team, just in your – you mentioned 40 at-bats, but just your basically month here, what you've seen um, a guy like that can do for a clubhouse. Yeah, he makes he makes everybody better. It's like having another hitting coach out there. You know, I mean, obviously Barnes has already came out and said that he's helped him, and um, I think he helps everybody. And even in the hitters meetings, uh, guys are picking his brain, asking, "Hey, man, you face this guy. Like, what do you got? What do you think we should? How should we approach this at bat?" And uh, he's a leader, and um, in every facet, though, not not even just baseball stuff, clubhouse stuff, cultural stuff. You know, he's he's a leader, so. Is it harder as a lefty to gain anything from, from a righty, or can he still kind of help anybody regardless of, like, handedness? Yes and no. Um, I think maybe approach-wise it's a little different, but still, I mean, he's got really good eyes. So if I, I ask him, hey, man, how does his slider look to you? Um, I think, you know, he's got good eyes, and he's going to say, hey, man, it's like a hard downer. It's got more sweep. Like, it might need to start further away from you. Like, just little stuff like that that uh, he's really good at, and, um, you know, I've seen it firsthand. And, just experienced it. Thanks, Kevin. Yep.